I can't, I can't not do this. Wow, can you hear the roar? I've just realized that. I've kept the windows up. Granted, it's 60 degrees outside or thereabouts. I've kept the windows up all that time to miss out on that fantastic exhaust noise. Wow, I have to, that's going in the video, 100%. That is an incredible trait. That you see behind me is the wonderful new Bentley Bentayga. It's the brand new Bentayga. It's not a, it's not a um, facelift. It's a brand new car. Well, on the motorway, this vehicle is as comfortable as it can get. So you feel no uh, sign that it's a uh, an SUV. There is practically no body roll, even if you go right or left. Of course, always indicating. Um, the ride is extremely smooth. One could almost say it's kind of like a floating sensation. In here, I think exquisite, immaculate, creme de la creme, and palatial. These are some of the words I would use to describe the interior of this Bentley and Tiger. This vehicle seems to have the exact um, balance between luxury, being modern, pinnacle of technology, and on top of it all, easy to drive because it really is easy to drive. It is extremely responsive. It is extremely well proportioned. You don't feel intimidated by it or you don't feel uh, scared to take it, um, you know, to, to as an everyday vehicle, so to speak. Um, I'm just going to stop here and tell you a little bit about the interior of this lovely vehicle. Here you have a 10.9 inch <clears throat> infotainment system, very easy to use, straightforward. And on top of the um, Apple Connect, it now has Android as well, which is a bonus. Very few uh, cars have both, but then again, this is the pinnacle of luxury. It is a combination of luxury limo, grand touring, um, SUV, all of them comes together in a performance ultra luxurious SUV. And it certainly does that very, very well indeed. Nort to 60 is taken care of from the 542 brake horsepower V8 that is a four liter in just 4.5 seconds. That's nort to 100 kilometers, but don't take my word for it, but take my video for it. So three, two, one, go. We take off and then look at that. And we're at 100. That is incredibly quick, incredibly quick. It's the next stop, Almaha Desert Resort. And of course, before Almaha, there is the Almaha Desert Reserve. And it is uh, a very scenic place. One little shame about it, you're not allowed to really go off-road, which would have been the, uh, the perfect opportunity to go off-road in this wonderful V8 Bentayga. Of course, with a massive 542 brake horsepowers, a four liter, and um, with twin superchargers, turbochargers, twin scroll superchargers, I believe they are called. But here we are as we enter Almaha Luxury Collection Desert Resort and Spa. I don't think the scenery could get even any better than this, except for a nice um, British racing green Bentayga, brand new, not even out on the market, driving through it. Well, here we are in the beautiful Almaha Desert Reserve, I believe it's called. And um, you can see behind me, um, first the Bentley Bentayga, and then two 4x4s. Those are um, the support vehicles, the camera crew vehicles. And this is kind of where, you know, a little bit insight into what goes on in a car video shoot. There's about a team of uh, four or five chaps there fixing all sorts of GoPros and then, you know, making sure the light is right, making sure the angles are right, making sure that the um, the end product comes out as the viewers would like to see. So there's a lot of work that goes behind this. 
this car is more than capable off-road on rock, on gravel, on sand, and I wish I had the pleasure of taking it off-road here. As a matter of fact, ground clearance is a lot higher than many of the so-called off-road kings that claim to conquer all sorts of uh, uh, terrain. But this is a, um, a palatial SUV on, uh, on stilts, let's say, um, if that is a good way of describing it. Well, the desert behind me can stretch as far as the eye can see. And you might say, you know, it's no uh, surprise that I might be standing in front of a vast wilderness of desert. Um, after all, we are in Dubai, but this is a very special desert indeed. This is a Dubai Desert Conservation Reserve. It's actually uh, a national park, so to speak. Within it, there are 57 plant types, species rather, 120 bird species, and about 43 different kinds of mammals. The, uh, the famous Arabian oryx, as it's called, actually roams these uh, vast lands, and so does the, um, the little cute gazelles, really. And to give you a little bit of uh, perspective into how big this place is, it's about 225 kilometers squared. Now, the, uh, the Principality of Monaco is only two kilometers squared, so that can kind of give you a little bit of perspective. And then to kind of even give you a little bit more perspective on top of that, it only accounts, this um, desert conservation reserve behind me, it counts for about 4.7% of the entirety of the Emirate of Dubai. So while it's extremely big, fast, very peaceful. Um, a lot of tourists actually come here to take photos. They come here to relax. And also, of course, there is the Al Maha Desert Resort, uh, the place that I am in right now. Now, ah, well, here we go. I think uh, my glasses are conveniently here. I think I'll keep them off. Um, I always like to see what the back of the car looks like. I mean, most of us, of course, we want to be in the front. We want to be driving. We want to be experiencing the, uh, the thrill of this um, very well-rounded, I must say, so far, uh, Bentayga, but I wanted to see how it is in the back. And in the back, there are a couple of very interesting improvements. For example, that you press a button and it comes out and it's a, a little iPad type device. Now with this, you can literally control everything to make it just until your heart is fully content. And one of those things is actually the ventilated seats that you have in the back. Now, those were never a thing, but having lived in the GCC, having lived in the UAE, I think ventilated seats are a brilliant idea. Hats off to um, Bentley for that. Apart from that, we'll place that back in. The uh, leg room here is quite good. I think it's more than the previous generation. Um, these are all new. Headroom is lovely. You have, of course, what we call a moonroof. So very bright and airy, very comfortable. You can get this uh, particular model in uh, several different variations, configurations. This is, of course, the five-seater. You can actually get a four-seater where there is a big console here with all sorts of um, luxuries. But I mean, this will do just fine in terms of comfort, in terms of headroom, in terms of um, how it feels back here. 